in today's video, I have to survive 100 days in the Sahara Desert. I have three objectives. First, create a stage three Saharan castle. Second, defeat the Scorpion King. And third, find and eliminate Xerxes, the Pharaoh of the East. Can I survive in this desolate landscape of the Saharan Desert? Stay tuned to find out. Do you want to fight the custom bosses you see in our videos? Consider subscribing to our Patreon. For only five bucks a month, you'll have access to our exclusive maps, private SMP server, which features our custom bosses, and much more. Link is in the description. Welcome to the Sahara Desert. My name is Jack, and I'll be your tour guide for the day. Make sure your hands and feet are inside at all times. Whoa, I can feel the wind blowing through my hair. It's great. Painful? What hair are you talking about? Severe desert storm reported ahead. Be cautious. Uh, what was that? Hang on, we're losing control! Ah! Oh man, how did I survive? Painful? Where the heck am I? I'm gonna have to try and find him somehow. And on day one, we began our journey through the Sahara Desert. I started by punching some trees, getting my stone tools, and getting some extra wood. While traveling, I ended up running into some dust devils. I tried looking at them a little bit closer, but probably got a little bit too close, because one sucked me in. I was able to escape, though. So I continued on my journey, but realized it was getting dark, so I dug down into a hole and waited for the night to pass. I then came back up, started exploring again, and ran into some meerkats. There was a bunch of them, and I was starting to get really hungry. So, I decided to take out a couple to see if I could get any food. And surprisingly, I did. So, I killed a few extra, but kind of felt bad, so I left the rest alone. I then found a cool-looking scarab, and then I found a cave. I also realized that only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. If you do enjoy the video, subscribing is greatly appreciated. It's completely free, and you can always change your mind later. I then found some desert rabbits after realizing that cave was a dead end, and then went to look through another cave. I took out a skeleton, and then found what I thought was a skeleton spawner, but actually was a spider spawner. I looted a saddle and horse armor, blocked it off, and decided to farm the spiders for the rest of the day. I used the string I got to make a bed, and then went to sleep. On day four, I made a fishing rod. I then found a river, but it was full of sharks, so I backed up and went to a separate part of the river that wasn't infested. I then got a bunch of salmon and cod, and then I started setting up my first base. Also, dropping a like is greatly appreciated. Maybe we can hit 10 likes this video? I gathered a bunch of grass and started to work on my wheat farms, and while gathering some wheat, I ended up falling into a rattlesnake pit. Luckily, I was able to take them out before they could hit me. And for some reason, they dropped apples. I then decided I'd go on a mining trip, mined a bunch of coal, got myself an iron pick, mined some redstone, found my first diamond, ended up killing a witch, which gave me some glowstone, mined a bunch more iron and got full iron armor, found another diamond, and on my way up, I ended up running into a horned lizard, which shot blood at me. So I took that guy out. I then pillared out of the cave, and on my way back to my base, I ended up running into a pack of hyenas. When they hit me, they gave me hunger. I managed to fight off the first two, but even more started to rush at me. So I decided to dip and run back to my base. On day 13, with no food left, I finally made it back. I used some bone meal to get some more bread, and when I went outside my base, I ended up running into a sand fox. It seemed to be pretty friendly, so I trapped it in a box and decided to keep him as a pet. Hopefully this would protect him from the hyenas. I then chopped down a ton of wood, and for the next couple of days, I worked on making a home for my new pet. Comment down below what you think I should name him. After a little while longer of building his house, I decided I may as well try and tame him with some fish. But when I did, I forgot to close the doors and he ran straight out. So I kept on chasing him, but while chasing him, I ended up running into a pack of coyotes. They started to attack me immediately, and I had to fight them all off. Luckily, I was able to use my shield and axe and took out all the coyotes. But after taking them out, I lost track of the sand fox. But I didn't want to give up now and looked for the next couple of days and ended up running into a desert village. I took a bunch of the hay bales for some extra bread, borrowed some bookshelves, and borrowed some of their crops. I then continued looking for the sand fox and ended up finding some camels. So I decided I may as well bring this camel back to base. Also, if you like this cape I have on, make sure to check out my lunar client cape down in the description below. Because the camel is so slow, it took me a few days to get back home. But when I arrived back to base, everything was burnt down. What the heck could have burnt down my base? It makes me wonder where that desert fox went. So once I realized my base was compromised, I decided to pick up all my stuff and relocate. So I spent a couple of days traveling on my camel and I ended up settling on a spot right next to a mountain. I built a little pen for my camel, put my stuff in a chest, and then started mining materials for my stage one Saharan house. I then made a giant crafting table. I crafted a bunch of reinforced sandstone, smelted up some glass, made some reinforced glass, and then crafted the tier one desert abode. I threw it down, watched as it built itself, and had myself a pretty nice home. So I started moving all my stuff 
into my new base. After moving everything, I collected some dirt, harvested some sugarcane, planted down some sugarcane, made myself a wheat farm next to my base, and then I decided to go exploring for a few days. While exploring, I ended up finding some armadillos. These guys were almost as cute as the desert foxes. I ended up running into some more meerkats as well. But then I finally found some more desert foxes. I tried luring one over with some fish, but it ran away. After a while, I finally lured one over and successfully tamed it, and then spent the next day luring it back to base. I think I'm gonna name this little guy, Terry. I then got myself some more food and decided to go on a big mining trip. So I found myself a cave, and after a short while, I found myself my first couple of diamonds and found a bunch of other ores as well. I then found myself some lava to make some obsidian, mined the obsidian using my diamond pick, and using one of my extra diamonds and some obsidian, I crafted myself a bisect shield. You can go to bisectoasting.com and use code FORESTBONO for 25% off. Now that I have my shiny new shield, I threw my old one into the lava, mined a little extra obsidian and some ores, and then pillared up on day 43. On my way back home, I ended up running into a pack of mountain lions. But thanks to my bisect shield, I was able to block all their hits and narrowly escape. That's some quality hosting right there. On day 46, I finally arrived home from my mining trip and immediately hopped into bed. I then crafted myself an enchantment table, got some more food, smelted my ores, enchanted a pickaxe, and started gathering materials for my stage two Saharan house. And using reinforced sandstone and glass again, I crafted the tier two house. I then spent the rest of day 50 clearing out an area to place down my new house. I placed it down and washed as it built itself. This one was pretty cool because it was complete with farms outside and the interior of the house looks pretty good as well. So for the last part of day 50, I moved all my stuff into the new house. From days 51 to 53, I went and mined some more diamonds and got pretty lucky and mined myself enough diamonds for nearly a full suit of armor. So I crafted myself the chest plate, pants, and boots as well as a diamond axe. I then farmed a bunch of sugarcane and crafted the rest of my bookshelves and then enchanted all my armor. From days 56 to 58, I ended up finding a lava lake, which was inside of a canyon. I also noticed there were some blazes, so I took those out as well. I also took out some magma cubes and realized there was also nether wart and soul sand. So I farmed some of the nether wart and soul sand, farmed some glowstone, and killed a few more blazes for more blaze rods. Afterwards, I pillared back up and arrived back home on day 59. I then made myself a nether wart farm, crafted a couple of brewing stands, and then started brewing a bunch of potions, which included some strength and speed potions. I then farmed a bunch of my crops, did some enchanting, put sharpness too on my diamond axe, watched the sunset, made myself a melon farm, and then brewed myself some instant health 2 potions. After all that farming, I decided to go exploring on day 65 and ended up running into a scorpion. The scorpion also gave me a hunger effect, and I realized there may be a scorpion nest inside of these ruins. But when I tried to fight another scorpion, this one started to just run away. I ended up chasing it and realized it was running into a giant cave, and I then ran into the scorpion king. I didn't have much time to react, so I used my shield to block as many attacks as I could and then backed up and drank my potions. After drinking my potions, I took out the minion and started to attack the Scorpion King. All of a sudden, the Scorpion King shot poison at me and I had to heal myself with my instant health potion. I then went back in to do more damage and kept on hitting him as many times as I could. He even summoned in even more minions. I had to be extremely careful though because he did a lot of damage. Just look at that giant stinger. He then poisoned me again, but I kept on hitting him and eventually defeated the Scorpion King. He also dropped some scorpion scales. On my way back home, I ended up running into some poisonous lizards, which were a bit of a pain, but I took them out pretty easily. On day 70, I finally returned back to base and crafted myself full scorpion armor. I then enchanted each piece with protection one and thought I was looking pretty cool. I then made a scorpion stinger and enchanted it with sharpness one. I then gathered some nether wart and made some new instant health potions. I then went exploring and found myself a desert temple. I mined all the TNT, found myself a god apple, a normal golden apple, and a bunch of other stuff. I then pillared back up, went outside the temple, looked to my left, and saw the same desert fox that ran away from me earlier. What was up with this desert fox? I chased it for a few days, and on day 80, I finally chased it back all the way to some sort of tent. The desert fox just sat down in its tent as if it was its home. I then realized there was a map of my base on the wall, as well as a map of some sort of pyramid. Whoever this was must have been the person that griefed me. I then decided to borrow some of his stuff, and then I had a pretty good plan. So I got the desert fox to run away, put down some TNT, but made sure to take the maps first and lit the TNT, blowing this tent to smithereens. Maybe I went a little overboard with that. I then spent the next few days returning back to base, and once I made it back home, I farmed my melons, nether wart, and wheat farm, and then started gathering materials for my stage three Saharan castle. I then crafted all the materials that were gonna be necessary for the stage three castle, put it all into the big crafting table, and crafted my stage three house. I then cleared out a big area so that I would have room to place down my stage three Saharan castle. I then threw down my castle and watched as it built itself, which kinda spawned on top of me, but when I 
backed up, it looked pretty good. I looked around a little bit inside and realized there was a bunch of tents and it was complete with a horse's stable and even a library. For the next couple of days, I decided to farm some gravel as well as kill a bunch of chickens so I could make some arrows and enchant myself a bow. I then started to follow the maps all the way to the pyramid and ended up finding the pyramid on day 97. When I zoomed in, I realized there was someone there. This must have been the person that owned that tent and burnt down my base. So I pursued him into the pyramid and I saw him dropping gold to the pharaoh inside. Pharaoh paused and then killed the archaeologist. And just like that, the fight was on. The pharaoh took a huge swing and did a ton of damage. So I ate my god apple and drank my potions. I then started to attack the pharaoh as much as I could, but took a huge hit from him. I needed to play this extremely carefully as he had a bunch of mummy minions that were also chasing me around. I used my shield to block some of his attacks and also used the waterway to create some distance. I then took out a bunch of his mummy minions and kept on using the terrain to my advantage. He ended up falling into the water, but did a huge hit, putting me on two hearts. I ended up healing back up and eating some food, and I realized this was my chance to do as much damage as I could. So I attacked him over and over again while he was in the water, took out some more mummy minions, but then ended up taking a huge hit. So I backed up, ate my last golden apple, and went back in to attack him. And after a few more hits, I had defeated the Pharaoh. And after defeating him, all of his mummies disappeared with him. I then went into the pyramid to explore a little bit and realized just how cool this place was. I went up a flight of stairs and there was a bunch of gold at the top. So I mined all the gold blocks, went down the side of the pyramid and started to head back home. On my way back home, I ended up running into a bunch of rattlesnakes as well. So I took out all the rattlesnakes, which weren't that hard to kill. And on day 100, I saw something in the distance. I wasn't sure what it was, but I realized it may have been the hot air balloon that we came in. So I approached the hot air balloon and then... Forrest, is that you? Painful. Glad to see you're alive. Help me. Did you hear something? Hey guys, a little help over here? If you made it this far, make sure to watch Painful's video. We each had different objectives, which made our videos a lot different. Thanks so much for watching and have a good one.